Welcome back. I have no idea if the stream is actually working, but uh, I spent exactly one minute to prepare it. And uh, I'm going to play a bunch of uh, 3 plus 0 blades with the usual system. This point of my life, I want to focus on increasing the rating and just playing uh, on a as high of a level as possible. And the educational videos will take place in uh, probably a few of the other videos. I will also do some commentary in the future, but as I mentioned in some of the comments, I want to cross certain ratings uh, before uh, investing more time at uh, speaking, which kind of reduces my concentration on my moves. Hey Johnny and uh, Steve, nice to have you here. And uh, just gonna verify that people can hear me. Let me know if there's any sound problem hey, during the video. Any sound issues whatsoever or uh, something with the delay between the moves and so on. I presume you can see my mouse while I'm moving it with a small delay. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to hear the moves uh, when they're taking place, so let me know. And I like the idea of somehow, yeah, putting this mouse here for no reason. Okay. All right. So let's press the 3 plus 0 button. And I like the idea of flagging people if they outplay me. So... I'm gonna stick to 3 plus 0. It uh, allows me to to maintain more complexity to the game because the the time is a big factor and not only the the chess moves. And uh, I don't know why, but at this point, my uh, sh current shape doesn't allow me to outplay everyone on the board. So I feel like it's also a good form of trading for me to combine speed with. Um, Let's call it playing strength. And I feel like also the most important part from my point of view is the opening. And uh, by in 3 plus 0 I can play decent openings more or less. And then quickly move on to the next game and keep practicing my openings without uh, the game lasting too long. So let's see if there are any complaints in the chat. Polo365 from Dersheva. Hello to you too. Be quick sand. That's what I'm intending to do. Jenny Bona. You've made it. So, the games don't seem to start, but uh, yeah, you've made it. Thanks, Josip. I'll also minimize the talking because I'm streaming at a relatively late hour and I don't want to wake up the neighbors and so on okay so it seems like everything is working just making sure okay I prefer not to lose this 8 seconds in the next game so I'll just focus on the good stuff later on alright the Grunfeld defense I have to remind myself not to talk much and just play. Mm. I think bishop g4 is the main move, but I'm not sure. Especially now, I'm not too sure anymore. Mm, I think this is supposed to be okay. And looks like a relatively theoretical position. Bishop b5 that he played with the sideline. And this move is not familiar. I'm not familiar with. I guess I can get some e5 in somehow. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how I can do it. Okay, let's just pretend to develop. Because E5 is not the best positional move as far as I can tell. So I just want to maybe bring the rook somewhere. Just develop my queen, maybe play a6, maybe play a e5 at some point. And if he takes, I just want to have the additional option to take with the queen. So, I don't know, I'm attracted to commentating, so I might as well do it. Uh, if it feels natural, the viewers will enjoy more. And I mean, in, in the previous streams, it didn't help me very much, the, the fact that I was focusing. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I guess I will combine the two. So, queen b4 looks tempting, but scary at the same time. Let's try. I mean, it might be losing, but I just cannot see a, a just like a proof. And I, I don't like the alternative of playing queen d8. Yeah, now I have to go probably here, but I don't think I'm losing yet. Yeah. Now I'm definitely not losing. I have to exchange, but it feels okay. Or as Wiedler would say, okay-ish. Now my rook is on the open file. This e5 move is a little bit um, weakening the light squares, and bishop takes e6 farther weakens the light squares. So even though I have double pawns, I, th I feel like I should have good counterplay. And rook b8, again developing the last piece, knight c4 is kind of a threat, bishop f5 check is in the air, I can take on f3 if I wish, if he puts the king on the d-file I'll have bishop takes e5 ideas with the pin, so dynamically it feels very risky for him, and with one minute on the clock for each, I can't say that I'm too disappointed, um, even though it's not so easy to make a move, so... Okay, let's try to break in the center and see what happens. I spent too much time thinking it's practically bullet already. Shouldn't be able to think. Yeah, this king is a little bit annoyed, as you can probably tell. I'm gonna get knight c4 probably on the next move if he gets king b1 or king b2. Check king a2. But I don't really want to take on e3. Hmm. Okay. Let's put it here. I want to go f5 and have the bishop on an active square. Pair of bish. Now g5 is my idea. If I could get my bishop to this diagonal, I would be quite pleased. Mm, very interesting things are taking place. Uh, it's not so easy to decide on a move. Let's take here first. And now see what happens. This feels good. Because there is like a double attack. Oh, it takes this one, you allowed this. This must be good for me. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I have to fight. Fight for my right to exist. Time pressure. At its very best. Okay, I won on time, wasn't ideal, but that was my strategy at the time pressure, I, I didn't think about the position too much, so I make no apologies. <sighs> Jenny Bona saying that it would be fun to play 15 minutes and tell, tell you my thoughts. I agree, it would be fun for you, 
it could potentially be fun for me if I could find strong opponents, but uh, I like the idea. Oh, actually, I was playing Christian Kirilla, a good friend from uh, the US, originally from uh, Hungary. I didn't notice I was flagging him. <laughs> I thought it was just a random opponent. Christian the Dictator. Chris the Dictator Kirilla. He's a beast. I managed to flag a beast right about now. So, Rook B8. Hmm. Looks familiar, but I'm not sure what's the move. I think it's Queen here. Yeah. Bishop e2, and then if b5, a4, I think is the theoretical move, and then knight b5. And even though my knight is kind of trapped, I think it should be fine for me. Because I castle. That's what I remember, but I might be completely wrong. I guess we'll find out soon. This, this is where my theoretical knowledge ends. Yeah, now it's threatening to take my knight, so I better give a check. looks like either I messed up or I should be winning <laughs> but I cannot say 94 looks terrible for me so mm. I don't see how to prevent it but I can get 95 and 96 is a huge threat so I'm kind of gaining a tempo if he takes this d6 pawn will be very very strong after fe or de so and i think what he played was a blunder because now i think i'm winning some material but maybe he wants queen b6 still i don't as komarov said in his streams this i don't believe I don't believe. Probably I should just go for the pawn. I should take it. So I'm a pawn up. Ah, but he gets this one back. So I have to strike the iron while it's hot. Uh, b3 looks like the way to open up for my bishops. Yeah. And now. Probably. He wants c3. If it was his move so I should open up the position before it's too late yeah now this is hanging I do not want to take ah <sighs> it's not so pleasant Okay, let's do this. I'm playing for the pair of bishops. I'm gonna lose on time otherwise. Let's take the open file while I still can and play this endgame. If I don't get flagged, it should be okay. Uh, it's not easy. Yeah. Definitely not better for me at this point. Let's offer a draw. Probably will not agree. People like flagging, much like I did against Mr. Kirilla. So I don't blame anyone who attempts to flag me. Mm. I should start pre-moving. All my pieces are on dark squares, so there shouldn't be a big issue by moving them around. Oh no, I thought I uh, have time. I think I imagined some things. Okay, but there are still some survival chances here. 
if I don't lose on time. Oh, this was crazy. Oh, I ruined it so easily. Okay. Don't know what to play. It should be a draw, but I don't think he will agree. Oh no, it was very close. Just going for flagging, huh? That's how you're gonna play it. Alright, then you can have it. Well played, I guess. <laughs> I should manage my time better. Just as a quick example for those who don't realize how expensive it is to be a chess player. I played in the Grenke Chess Festival and I didn't win a prize. And I spent more or less around 700 euros uh, just to play in that tournament. So... If you, and this is supposed to be my profession, so I spent like uh, 10 days and traveled to a different country and worked and lost 700 euros. And all this in the name of becoming a better chess player. So the entire idea is to, of, of what I'm asking uh, in form of support is to avoid losing money from chess. No, I'm not even interested in, in earning anything at this point. It just sounds so unrealistic. So, which reminds me that I didn't open the program that uh, related to the to the tips. So if anyone were to support, I wouldn't have seen it. Apologies, by the way, you will be able to hear extremely loud music that I don't know how to fix and I will not be able to hear, to hear any music <laughs> as far as I know. So, um, yeah, okay. Fixed it. Now let's put the mouse where it belongs. Somewhere here. Can't find the spot. Here. Okay. Whatever. And as usual, half a minute. Oh, I guess the same guy who flags. It was a bad choice of opponent to to spend so much time. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> okay, I want to go to go d5, but only after he goes d4, so I can have knight e4 later. Now bishop e6. My idea. I guess this is a, a good time to play it. I think about c4, but okay. Let's put some rook here first. <sighs> Queen makes sense. Rook on d8 if he lets me. He goes e5, I won 98, so feeling kind of okay with this position that's a little bit unbalanced, I would say. Let's fight his knight. The most disturbing piece. He doesn't care. Okay. 
I'll take it. If you give it, I'll take it. Now I want to take some things maybe. Knight g5. Protect e6. d3 is still hanging. Okay, but now he has rook f3 maybe. Actually, queen d3 might have been a tempo. But, nah. I like this better. This feels right. I think. I think it feels right because. <laughs> I mean, if it goes back, a g5. And queen d3 at the end. I don't think he can sacrifice in an objectively good way. Because after the bishop takes and knight takes, queen d3. Sorry. Queen to d3 will protect h7 from mate and it will parry his attack completely. So now I just want to. Ah, no, it won't. But he allowed me to get this one with check. He should have taken on f8 first. Anyway, now I'm completely winning. I can just grab all these pieces. Bishop e5 is actually almost mate. Queen of g3 is the only move. Yeah, he resigned. Okay, he didn't manage to flag me this time. 